What if you are doing an exercise like this, the reverse squat, and as you extend your legs out, you get a popping in your hip or a snapping? Is that bad? Answer is no. It's not horrible if you are having a snapping, clicking hip right here while you're doing these exercises, but it can be made better with a few tweaks to your movement. The first thing you can do is tuck your ribs. So place your hands on your rib cage, and you'll notice when you're just relaxed, your ribs flare out. Um, and then when you engage the upper half of your muscles, they, your abdominal muscles, your ribs tuck in. So we want to tuck in those muscles. All right, now Dan, try the move with that. Does that help any hip clicking or popping for you? I'm still getting it. He's still getting it. So let's try another thing. The next area we can move to is the pelvic tilt. So place your hands on your hips and you'll notice how you can rotate your pelvis forward and create more of a low back arch and back so your back is slightly more rounded. So we wanna go into that slightly more rounded position and see if the ribs tucked and the pelvis in a posterior pelvic tilt helps with the hip clicking and popping. Happening. So if it's still happening, then the last thing you can do is you can lower your range of motion. So instead of bringing your legs all the way to the ground, you're going to straighten your legs, engage your quad at maybe like a 45 degree angle, but still straighten them all the way. Yes, like that. Good work. Now how's that clicking? Barely happening at all. Not happening. Awesome. So if the ribs tucked doesn't help, if the pelvis tucked doesn't work, then definitely just shorten your range of motion and that will help with your clicking and popping.